Another thing for you to look at here on the um, carts is the labels themselves. Um, the coloring on this one is actually pretty good. Um, usually a fake cart would have some faded um, print on it. If you look at the blacks, like the black on the E and compare it to like the black on the used Metroid uh, Prime, it's a pretty, you know, it's a dark black. Um, something you'll have to get real close up and you're not going to be able to see it on this is if you got around that E there and really looked around it, there's some kind of jagged edges around the E. Um, that would be caused by like an inkjet printer. If you were to look at the E on, let's like, say, a chicken shoot here, it's nice, smooth, it's crisp, it's not faded or jagged along the edges of it. Um, same thing with like the DS logo here. It's got a little bit of fading there. Um, uh, the ones on the legit are nice and crisp. If I had a box of this came in, I would show you a comparison between a fake box and probably a real box. But I'll do something uh, slightly better and kind of point some things out here for you. Legit Mario Kart box. Um, things to look for on a fake box is if you know the game has Wi-Fi connectivity, um, you should have this Wi-Fi logo either bottom corner or top corner somewhere along the front side. So if it ain't there, it's probably some kind of photocopy thing. Look for um, like GameSpot logos or something weird like that to be printed on the corners that just would not be there. Nintendo's not going to put like a GameSpot logo on their games. Um, again, the print, um, it should be nice, crisp, clean, um, no jaggy edges, um, that's a sign of photocopying or just a really cheap printer being used, which you're not going to do for something like this. Um, coloring should be nice and dark. Uh, another thing to look for is on the inside, you should have this Nintendo DS. Um, symbol, logo, whatever you want to call that, on the inside of it. Um, and, of course, instruction manuals. Nintendo ones usually come with some kind of join the club nonsense. You know, your healthy and precautions. Yeah, yeah, healthy. Health and safety precautions book. Um, trying to do this one-handed, and it's not working too well. Um... You know, your Wi-Fi instruction book. Uh, there. Um, again, that should be included with any game that has Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, now, just because you buy a used game, it doesn't have the instruction books. Doesn't mean it's fake. It's, sometimes they just don't have the instruction books. Some people lose them. So don't assume. Oh, it doesn't have an instruction book. It's an immediate fake. It's it's not. Um, you know, again, the printing on the instruction book should be nice, clean, crisp. Um, like I'm saying, on the little um, ESRB rating, it should be nice, crisp, clean. Um, that's something that's really easy to see. Um, be wary of manuals that appear to be just like a, a game review. It should actually give you instructions on how to play, what each button does, you know, like here while playing, press start, da 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 to pause the game. It should be pretty obvious, but, um, you know, tell you about your settings, stuff like that. Again, look for, like, company logos in the corners and everything. If you see, like, GameSpot logo, definitely fake. Underneath um, all those manuals, there's a Nintendo logo. Um, on the back side of it. Um, I've heard that some of these have them, some of them don't, but every single one of mine do. So, it's probably just luck of the draw or whatever. So that's it as far as printing on these. Um, my other video went over, so that's why this is a second one. Um, so if you would like to see more video game related stuff from me, let me know. Um, I would be interested in that, as you um, may or may not know. I have um, kind of a good collection of 
<laughs> uh, Nintendo games, old school Nintendo, there's some Sega Genesis ones there. That's a Virtual Boy, and more games. Um, so, but yeah. Um, let me know if you're more interested in seeing stuff like that as well. Um, I don't mind doing a couple of them every once in a while. I need to get a better setup for doing them, of course, especially if I'm going to do handhelds. This is my DS Lite, as you can tell by the nice shiny finish. Um, so, I'll see you guys later.